Hi everyone, it's Anissa, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Lipstick and Burritos. And today I'm here to review, well, bam, the La Rock Pro 2 palette. I've been pining over it since seeing Nicole Guerrero use it in one of her tutorials. She's one of my favorite personalities on YouTube because she has a personality. And I wanted it ever since I saw her use it. But my biggest number one priority when buying makeup, especially palettes, are all the colors usable for my skin tone. So if you're a girl of color, you understand how that is because some paints can come out looking crazy on you and other color again, even highlighters, you don't want them to look ashy. I will I could go on and on for days, but I will not. But that was definitely my main concern. So I wanted to be able to go in, swatch it, test it, see how blendable it was, and honestly I was impressed and I was like okay I need to have this so alright so here's a quick rundown so in with the palette set you get the palette which is 16 eyeshadows and you also get a primer this is the Lorac um, behind the scenes eye primer and you get all this for $42 I love this primer so far and I'm pretty sure I will be restocking and using that by itself I bought my set from Ulta. You can get it, of course, from Lorac on their online store. And then also I've seen it on Nordstrom.com. So those are three options. You get, with the 16, the tops are all mattes and the bottoms are all shimmers. Okay, so let's go ahead and get swatching. The first two I'll do is buff and light brown. So the first one here is going to be buff. And the second is light brown. This light brown will be great for a crease transition color. It's very close to my skin tone, so it blends quite well. And buff, you it comes off quite strong at first, but you can blend it down to be a nice, soft, natural-looking highlight. Cool. The next two I'll be swatching is Cool Gray and Nectar. If you can see there. The third one in is Cool Gray, and then that last fourth one is Nectar. I really like Nectar, too, to use in my crease as a little transition. It warms it up quite well. The next ones I'll be picking up is Plum and then Navy. Those are really strong. <laughs> The last two I'll be picking up is the charcoal and the black. So then you have plum, navy, charcoal, and black. And those are all the mattes. So let's go ahead and get into the shimmers. The first two we'll be picking up are Snow and Beige. And the next two are going to be Rosé and Mocha. So those are all four of those colors. The Snow, the Beige, Rosé, and Mocha. The last four we'll be going through is Chrome, Silver, Olive, and Cocoa. I'm in love with the Cocoa. <laughs> I'm kind of like balls to the wall crazy sometimes. Okay, so there are the swatches of chrome, silver, olive, and cocoa. Again, I love this payoff. This is amazing. Okay, so now that we have swatched it and you've got to see the colors on my skin tone, I'm going to wrap this up really quick and tell you the couple of reasons of why I love this palette and highly suggest it. The color payoff and pigmentation is true to how it appears in the palette. What you see is literally what you get on your skin tone. Also, the consistency is really great. There's no chalkiness to it. It's smooth like butter, and the blendability is easy. And last but not least, great for all skin tones. I've seen this on fair skin tones and on myself. I would recommend this for girls of my skin tone and darker. So I hope you enjoyed this little review. Hope this helped. And go out and get this palette. Yes. <laughs> but yes, absolutely get this into your collection if you can definitely afford it. I know $42 can be a little bit steeper when other brands like BH Cosmetics, you can get 60 for a fraction of the cost. But 
I would say it's worth the splurge. <laughs> but again, thank you for watching. If you like what you see and want to keep seeing more, drop comments below. Tell me what you want to see. Like and subscribe and have a great one. Mwah. Bye.